Scenarios are crafted narratives that use metaphors to describe possible futures. They give us options on what might happen in the future and how they can be influenced by choices we make today. Scenarios also help us to see blind spots and to help to motivate leaders and society into action. Let's look at how scenarios were recently used in Twani. The future is not cast in stone, but we do know that given prevailing global mega trends like rapid urbanization, climate change, resource stress, demographic changes, and chosen alternative principal leadership postures by the city of Twani, many possible futures could emerge. In a recent scenario study, the city using an effectiveness and citizen engagement levels metrics identified four possible futures for Twani. The first is called a tale of five cities. The second, a thirsty Twani. The third, a scenario called the Abyss. And a fourth, shows us the African capital city of excellence. Let's look at the tale of five cities. Today, Twane is actually five cities in one. The first city is the affluent suburbs. The second is the diplomatic quarter. The third is the inner city. The fourth is the townships. And finally, we have the informal settlements. Residents have a totally different Twane experience depending on where they live. And if the city decides to take a principally follower leadership role, these five cities will stay with us way into the future. In the Thirsty Twani, we all get thirstier, not only for water, but also for power, affordable education, resilient ecosystems, security, employment, and much more. We can see elements of this today and if the city adopts the role of a paternalist provider in the face of prevailing megatrends of rapid urbanization, climate change and resource stress in Twani, our thirst will only get worse over time. The third scenario called the Abyss leads us into a perfect storm. In the Abyss, everything goes wrong due to massive corruption and neglect. And it can happen as was the case in Singapore after World War II, as well as some failed cities today. The fourth scenario describes an African capital city of excellence. It shows how the city reinvents itself to become a smart city, based on a green economy and effective local government. Inequality, unemployment and poverty are a thing of the past and citizens are all active partners in the development of the city. This scenario symbolizes the city's aspirations and outlined in the city's Vision 2055. The Twani Vision 2055 was created in 2012 as a way to help the city move to a better future. According to this vision, the city should be livable, resilient and inclusive. Residents should also enjoy a good quality of life and have access to social, economic, as well as enhanced political freedoms. Finally, the city's citizens should also be partners in the development of the future. Moving forward, it is quite simple. What strategic actions do we take if despite our best efforts, the undesirable scenarios begin to emerge? Continue to be a paternalistic provider or a follower while employing incremental, reformist change strategies and face the prospect of getting suboptimal outcomes. Still, a thirsty twani and a tale of five cities. Play the same old game and risk staring into the abyss of a failed city. Or take bold, audacious decisions and employ transformative game-changing strategies and be a true development partner, working with empowered citizens. Or decide on a combination of leadership styles and choose a basket of incremental and game-changing strategies, depending on need. The future is coming. The future is our choice.